Brooks Palmer is my name. I have a job as a clutter buster. I help people let go of clutter in their homes, offices and such in their life. And um, so I was at this woman's house and she had this big old house. And um, it was actually a, a little net just north of here. And um, it was cold uh, winter night and I went there to work it off. And we went to this one room and this room used to be her son's bedroom. And, uh, but he stopped sleeping in there because she said the bed would shake at night. Like, <laughs> he liked the exorcism, mm. shaking back and forth. And uh, I, got, I knew she was telling the truth because she had this really scared look on her face when mm. she talked about it. And so her son now slept in this other room. You know, the previous owner was this woman who was an opera singer. She was kind of well-known opera singer. And um, she was sick like the last five years, of, five or six years of her life. And so she convalesced in that bed, that, um, that the room, that, where the bed shook, that bed that shook. And, um, 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 and then she died in that bed. Mm. And that room was cold, too. The rest of the house was really well heated, but mm. that room, and there was a heater in there. Mm. The room was just cold. It was very cold. And so I saw a guitar in the room, and I asked if I could play it. I just had this sense to play the guitar. And she goes, yeah. So I picked it up, and I sat down. I started playing... Um, so long, it's been good to know you by Woody Guthrie, and and um, and I started singing it, and all of a sudden I felt this. It was already cold in the room, but I felt this really deep chill come into my body, yeah. like in, like in, within seconds, and went into my bones and into my muscles, and mm. and um, I felt like I was in a freezer. Mm -hmm. Yes, and. Um, and I kept singing the song, you know, and uh, finished the song, put the guitar away, and uh, I felt really tired. Mm. And um, I felt somehow or another that I had uh, assimilated that woman that died in there, like her energy, whatever. Um, I don't really know what it, aspect it really was of her, but it was from her. And so um, I finished up the job that night and they went home. I took a long, long shower. I woke up the next morning, I felt better. So I called her a couple days later and she said that um, the room got warm again mm -hmm. and that her son was able to sleep in the bed. Mm -hmm. You know, so it stopped doing all that shaking. So, uh, <laughs> Did they hire you to get rid of the, the energetic cluster of the, no. the convalesced woman? No. I think I cluttered most of the energy of that woman mm -hmm. unintentionally. I wasn't thinking I want to mm -hmm. absorb the ghost or mm -hmm. whatever that was. But, um, but it was a tangible experience. It was very real. And I think as a kid, I used to feel like uh, I would absorb people, mm -hmm. you know, that, and um, sometimes feel tired afterwards. I know this is off topic a little bit, but I just sometimes wonder if you're doing that kind of work and you're going into other people's homes and. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're not necessarily a religious person or a spiritual person, do you have any kind of energetic prep that you do before you go in, or you're just confident that you'll be able to ground and clear? I usually listen to rock music, rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me uh, feel happy, and if I'm happy, then I, I feel um, my mind's a lot clearer, you know? Yeah.